What is up people? This is the video uh, after my update. So this video is carrying on with the gaming series that I started um, before Christmas. Uh, what really grinds my gears about gaming. Um, as you probably know by the title of the video, this episode is about kind of anniversary editions. Um, Yes, it's a very pernickety uh, kind of one because some people don't care, others do care. I didn't used to care, but I started caring more. It's a bit weird. So, I'm just going to get straight into it. I've just picked a game from each different kind of anniversary edition consoles. So, the first one is the the PlayStation, PlayStation Platinum, uh, the original PlayStation Platinum, PlayStation One. So you know, there's the the grey or silver bar on the bottom, PlayStation Platinum. Other, other than that, the picture's normal. Uh, there's the, this bit's grey. I don't know if that's good. I can't remember if that's grey on the bottom. I'm assuming it's not. Obviously, the side. It's in grey and black instead of black and white. Um, that's how you tell. Other than that, you go inside, PlayStation, PlayStation Platinum on the manual, so there's no, no getting away with that, and I think possibly the biggest crime of all, um, you don't get a picture on the disc, um, you just get, you get the the title of the game, etc., etc., and the platinum. So there you go. It's a shame, really. I, I can't. I can't. I know they have to. I know it's a symbol. Oh, this game was really good. And it sold so many copies. But they could just. They could just do that. Um, they could have a sticker on it. They could have just put a sticker on the cover or something. The platinum or the anniversary or however many copies sold. But no, they put a grey line along the bottom, so you know it's a platinum, so you know it's not the original copy, which is, I, I personally like to have the original copies, because you can get away with bluffing and saying, oh, I've owned that since it came out. Maybe that's just me. I like to do that. I feel that you can do that. Anyway, let's carry on. So, um, let's just keep up with the PlayStation theme. So, they haven't really, they've never changed over time, so... This is PlayStation Platinum again. Grey, completely grey border here, and they just shove the picture in the middle. Um, you open it up. Now this is where I think things did start to change a bit. They they got a bit more sensible. Um, manual, totally fine. Nothing on there to suggest that it's a platinum edition. Nothing. So that's okay. Um, and again, uh, the disc. Sorry. Anyway, the disc is completely fine as you can see. Um, there's no mention of platinum on this disc or anything. I don't know this. I th I'm pr I, when I bought this, this is what it came with. So it's not like I don't know. Maybe they just didn't do a platinum. Maybe they just stopped doing platinum discs uh, and manuals on the PlayStation 2. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So the only difference on this is the kind of um, case, I suppose, or the where it's actually, it's actually the inlay um, and the case, but Regardless, uh, it's it's a bit, it's a bit, it's even, it's it is worse, it's worse than the PlayStation One because it is actually around the entire inlay, and then it's just like they copy and pasted the picture in the middle. It's got, I mean, look, look, it's silly, really. PlayStation Two, PlayStation Two. You don't need, you don't need to do that. It's silly. Um, and look, no, actually, no. You can even tell they copy and pasted it. That is just the cover, and then they put that around it. The Sony, the Sony logo is even on it twice. They've even got the 
They've even got they've even got the pow bit on it twice. It's, I don't know why they did that. But anyway, uh, so now we're going to move on to the the Xbox. So original Xbox. This is one of the very few uh, Xbox classics I've got. Well, they call they call the classic. Uh, it's Halo 2, as you can see uh, here. Classics, and there's the white border. Um, other than that, it's, it's set up on the back as well. Classic, classics. Other than that, really, you can't tell the difference. Again, on the inside, uh, manual, normal manual, uh, disc, normal disc. So you can't really tell other than the. Honestly, if you could just somehow get an original inlay, nobody could tell the difference. It's the same with any Musha, only Musha. So, only no, it's uni, yeah, it's, it's only Musha, not only Musha. Anyway, uh, so we're moving on now. Um, this is the this is the only no, it's not. It's the second Xbox 360 Classic I have. The Mega Drive Collection. I did actually know it's the kind of. Um, okay, it is techni technically it's the second. So yeah, it's the uh, Mega Drive Collection uh, Classic over there. It does look nicer. I mean, I must admit, it does look less. It does stand out less. Uh, Xbox 360 Classic on the thing. So, if you've got that in your case, you'll see on there which is in there. Um, ah, this is this is an interesting one. They've gone backwards slightly. The manual. Perfectly fine. There's no mention of Xbox 360 classics. However, unfortunately, the disc does have it on. There. Let's see. Which is a bit. It's a bit disappointing. Um, but there you go. You're lucky if. It's you know you're lucky you there's not one single anniversary edition version that hasn't had at least some sort of advertising being this an anniversary edition. Now this is the only player's choice GameCube game I have. Harry Potter and the Quidditch World Cup. Yeah. British World Cup. So, as you can see, it's the the game the Nintendo ones are called Player's Choice. Um, as you can see here, silver grey border, whatever you would call it. Um, yep. So you open it up. Once again, manual. No. Nope. Perfectly fine, there's no mention of player's choice on that whatsoever. The very, very small disc, no mention of player's choice on that. So it's just the inlay again. So, literally, if you could, if you got a black case uh, and you just got an original inlay, you'd be okay. Um, so they were the main ones, however the Xbox 360 did originally have a different classic look. Um, yes, okay so here we go, this is the only original Xbox classic I have, it's Dead Rising, big old letters in the top, classics, and there's a weird grey board around it. Some reason grey or silver seems to mean it's sold copies. I assume they just think, oh, platinum is kind of that colour. We'll just do that. Nothing on the back though. 
it's nice and original on the back. The side does unfortunately not have a special font. Um, manual, manual is perfectly fine. Uh, disc does have classic on it, unfortunately. But there you go. Um, it is kind of it, this is a bit pernickety, but the one thing I don't particularly like about um, the the kind of this the the, um, the lack of font it it does stand out when if you if you put the aims in kind of straight. So when you go along and you look at this. And there's only one grey one there, and there's no um, unique font. It does, it does get a bit annoying, unfortunately. Um, but there you go. So they, are, they are all the. I call them anniversary editions, but they're actual. They actually, it's more related to the amount of sales of the copy of the game. Um, they are all the different versions. I. Own. There are N64 players' choice. Um, they stopped the players' choice at the Wii and retitled it Nintendo Select. I believe I haven't got any of them. Um, uh, I'm not aware of any anniversary editions for handheld games. No, I can't, I can't think of any. So. I've gone through and shown you all the different versions. Um, I've been rambling on for quite some time now, so I sh I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. There's a couple of reasons why the anniversary editions are annoying. Obviously, the case straight away. The case looks different. The picture gets shrunk down, and it doesn't cover the whole thing. Even if, even if, well, no, normally it doesn't cover that. It just covers. This, this bit here, but that's fine. So the first thing is obviously the cover's different. Second thing is they just do normal font on the side of the thing. Sometimes the back also has, you know, sometimes the back's also different, which can be a bit annoying. Inside, obviously, the manuals are affected on this one, but some of the manuals do have. Platinum on them or classics or whatever. The disc, uh, they 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 don't do it anymore. But with the original PlayStation, as you saw, they they didn't have a picture. They just ripped the name of the game on the disc. Very. I don't know if it was cutting costs. I don't know if it was so it obviously stood out or if they just couldn't be bothered. With putting the picture back on, probably a mix of all of them, but it is annoying because it feels like you bought it just because other people bought it before you sort of thing, instead of you actually buying it for yourself. Um, so this was the video about the anniversary editions. It is a very uh, not a lot of people, I don't think, get annoyed about the this kind of thing, but I am one of the people who do. I know a few other people that probably feel the same. Um, oh, another thing is, like I forgot to mention, I just remind myself, the colour of the cases. Um, the Xbox ones are grey, except for the Xbox original, whatever. So yeah, the 360 classics are grey, that was changed on the new one. Uh, the PlayStation cases are okay, they, they are unaffected, but um, PlayStation 2 and GameCube have silver grey cases as well, so they stand out. Um, I think that's about it for the anniversary editions. Um, let me know what you think about them. Do you prefer buying the original version or the not mind the platinums? Do you actually even collect the platinum versions? I don't know why you'd want to do that, but they are kind of cheap, I do believe it. Um, anyway, I've been going on long enough about what really grinds my gears about gaming, 
anniversary editions. Um, I hope you found this episode quite interesting. The last one, I believe, was talking about manuals and the lack of them. Um, and the first one I did, episode one, was about the stickers on the, on the stuff. Um, look forward to the next video in the series because there are definitely a lot more things that, that really grind my gears about gaming. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.